Hey guys, what's up? What's up? Alright guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to build a still jet nose and yes guys full tutorial because I understand some of you are having some difficulties in you know building this original steel jet nose by the way this is the first ever steel jet nose tutorial or video that you will see in YouTube or build a boat when I built this I actually did not use the trowel tool that much when I built this I'm not really that familiar on how to use this trowel tool so I have to you know manually place this little box there are, there are some little blocks here that I placed one by one and if it goes in with zoom in, it's not that smooth compared to these guys as you can see here it's really 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 smooth let us start so any blocks guys you can use with this okay but this time I will use metal blocks all right so gonna place one two three four five so we are going first to build a jet nose this is the step on creating the basic jet nose so gonna place one block there all right uh, using the scaling tool I'm gonna reduce this or put it down like this, alright? So this is bring it back to 222. Two, two. Alright, gonna turn this black because it is just gay black. So uh, this it this should be it, alright? And then point nine. So I place one block there, so this is another guy block. There you go. Then I gotta pull this, of course. There you go. So switch the rotate to five and then make one rotation and then place one, two, and three blocks, alright, and then make another one rotation, one, two, three, and then one and two so this is how it should be so yes three blocks three blocks and then two blocks all right there you go so uh, we're gonna switch to point one all right and then pull it two times like that there you go and then pull it down reduce the height like that so just one time so as you can see it's very very smooth now and then one and two then one two all right one two one and two there you go and this one so by the way yeah again this one is rotated three times so one and two and then reduce this reduce this all right and then of course we have to reduce this also yeah 1.7 or one yeah actually one will do with this all right and then I gotta reduce the height of this, including this one. Yes, there you go. So their height is just 0.1. There you go. Yes. And then uh, I just want to pull this to six. There you go. And then I'm gonna put some marker here. All right. So the color is the marker. The one, two, three. And then here. Oh wait, it's too light for me. <laughs> so as you can see, I put a color on. Uh, depending on their rotation so I put this color for this one rotation this one has two rotation and this one has three rotations okay there you go so they are very important so now we can delete this then we gotta play some guide blocks like this okay then we gotta reduce this 0.5 there you go here 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 oops that's too much actually all right so yes guys I want everything balanced so this is a technique one of the techniques in you know using the trowel tool but of course we are going to clone this all right so yes clone I change this to 10 so another technique so that this easier to clone by the way uh, selecting guide blocks is very important it should be the last so that you know the direction of the trowel is correct because sometimes it will have a direction like that so to do that uh, hold press control if you're using PC all right then and select the guide block and then select it again so now as you can see it is now straight all right so now we are going to clone this there you go and then put it back to its original position and then we gotta rotate this one time like that there you go and then delete this delete this delete this so they are just extra guide blocks all right now switch to point 95 there you go reduce both sides of this there you go to make this smoother so this one is point 0.9 all right there's a hole there but it's okay because when you zoom out it's not that noticeable all right especially when you put dark colors on it all right so 0 0.85 with this i think this will do with this there you go maybe 0 0.85 will also work on this oh no 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 it's too much it's too much uh 0 0.8 with this yes there you go and then 0 0.75 with this there you go all right and then 0 0.7 with this yes 
I believe 0.7 will also work in this. Yes, and then 0.65. There you go. Yes. 0.65 it is. We'll do also. Alright, by the way, guys. Yes, uh, this one. Let's use 0.5. I want you to reduce this and also this. And then clone them using 0.52. Alright. There you go. Clone them like that. Alright. Yes, it's important, guys, you do that because, yeah, you will see later. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna clone this again, of course. So 10. Yes, same process of cloning. And then move it back to its original position, right? And then we gotta rotate. One and two. There you go. And then gotta delete this, delete the guide blocks. Alright, so same process. Alright, again, same process. Clone it. Now we are going to bring this back to its original position. This time, guys, we are going to rotate one, two, three, and four. Alright, there you go. So delete this and this and this. And of course, guys, we also gonna delete these parts, these lower blocks. Alright. Yes, delete all the lower blocks like that. We are going to clone this again. We can now rotate it here. So we're gonna rotate one, two, three, four, five, six. So it must be in that direction, okay? We have to delete these blocks, alright, at the middle because these have already a middle block, alright? Then, yes, put it back to its original position like that. Let us just uh, move this away a little bit like that. There you go. But don't delete this, guys. Guide blocks are very, very important. So now, guys, uh, delete these blocks from the, I mean, one and two, alright? So like that, these blocks, two sections of blocks. There you go. And then, yes, guys, uh, put the guide block for a while. And then uh, we are going to clone this again. Alright, guys, so now uh, we can rotate this. So just invert it like that. Move it back now to its original position. Pull these sum blocks to extend their width. So we're gonna use 1.1 with this. Alright, so pull this. Alright, and yes, guys. Again, this is just a guide block, so yeah, just to see and to determine if they are connected properly. And as you can see, this one is really, really smooth. I like it. I like it. All right. And then the next one is we're gonna use 0.98, guys, with this one. Yes. Let's try this. The guide. Yes. As you can see, this is how it should be. Okay. Because guys, uh, this is important that you also pull this so that because maybe you will have a different rotations with this one or you know a different number of blocks per rotation so you know it might have a different uh, or it might have a different required scale number to achieve this uh, connection smooth connection so it's important you use you also extend the guide blocks all right so uh, next is you gotta switch to point 84 all right point 84 with this one oops nope that's a little bit short wait a minute i think this is point 0.84 yes point 0.84 is with this one okay and then point 0.92 with this one yes there you go all right feels well actually you know what uh, make this point 0.93 let's extend this a little bit there you go. Very smooth. Very smooth. I like it. I like it. Alright. And then uh, switch to point 0.67 for these big blocks. There you go. Very smooth. I like it. It's okay. You'll see there's a little bit difference there, but it's okay. Alright. And then switch to point 0.52. There you go. Yes. And then point 0.36. Yes, perfect guys, perfect. And then, uh, the brown one, so point one with this one. Oops. Yes, there you go. Perfect, yes. Alright, and then uh, point zero 0.06 with this block, this round block. There you go. Alright, and yes guys, with the other side, you just need to apply it again all right same numbers guys same numbers okay so by the way yeah these two at the front they're actually already connected so no need to 
make an adjustment here, okay? We are going to clone. Alright, so yeah, uh, 0 0.5 will do. We gotta clone this. Alright, so clone it one time like that. And then, guys, rotate, switch to rotation, then change this to 3. Okay, remember this, guys. Alright, so 3. And then just rotate this one time. Make sure you rotate it just one time, alright? Then we can actually just switch to 0. And then align this properly with that. Yes, there you go. Very smooth. So it is aligned here. Yes, very good, guys. Yes, all right. And then, yeah, make sure this one is just covered like that. Very easy. And actually, guys, we can simply clone this. All right, as you can see. Because their rotation and size will probably be just the same. So there you go. Yes. Really smooth. All right. And then for this one, guys, of course, clone again. Clone it one time, and then we're gonna rotate this, this time with 6, guys, change the scale to 6, and then rotate it just one time, okay? And then, yes, yeah, scale it again, just align it properly like that. There you go, I think, yeah, this one is good already. Then reduce its height, just cover this area, alright? And then we can clone this, there you go, resize this like that, and maybe we can extend this all the way up to here maybe we can you know extend this a little bit like that there you go so as you can see here just cover this area yes really nice okay so for this one gonna clone again all right this time we gonna change the rotate to nine all right and then of course rotate it just one time like that and then extend this like this using scale zero again all right so yeah, just align it with the line and yeah, make this one a little bit clean. There you go, like that. Oh, as you can see here, as you can see here, yeah, it's over. So what we're gonna do is we are simply gonna clone this. All right. So just guys, just make sure nothing is over there. All right. So we gotta clone this. Alright, and then just pull it, so this is just a little block, there you go, yes, alright, and then yeah, this thing, we can just cover it here, or clone it here, to here, yes, there you go, and yeah, just cover this area, make this thing smaller, yes, excellent, and then clone again for this last part. Let's extend this a little bit. There you go. Do it here again. Alright. Same step, okay? Again, this is just a guide block so we can delete this part now. So yeah, we can just simply move this, select anchor and collision. There you go. So we are going to clone this, alright? Again, select the guide block last, scale 10, so it's easier to clone. So we gotta clone this, change the rotate to 15, simply invert this, like this. There you go. Move it back to its original position. There you go. Oh my goodness, look at this. It look the same actually, but when you zoom in, you can see there are some differences here. This one, when you zoom in, it's much more smoother. You can simply change its color now. Alright guys, look at this, look at this. So the jet nose, stilt jet nose is now ready. So now you can use this to build my stilt fighter jets. And you can build them now easily because this is a good start. And yes, again guys, make a separate save slot for this because this stilt jet nose is very, very useful. For example, this one, my very first stilt jet nose. I use this a lot in my build. So if you like this guys, if you love this, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell and please like and share the video so guys thank you for watching bye bye